is is it a responsibility for us? And let me let me ask a, a, a further question in that one. Sure. Is when you say responsibility, it's it's an obligation. Is that what you say? Responsibility. The other word I wrote down is whole space. So should we hold space in our lives for others to uh, consciously make a make an attempt, put the, put put forth the effort to make a difference? Hmm. Well, um, being that we just talked about the need for meaning and value and connection. Uh, I, I feel like the answer is yes, because they go together. And, um, you know, it's interesting uh, when I, I think about, you know, a lot of my conversations with close friends or just anyone, really. It's like holding space for them, uh, just being there with them. Um, you know, and one of the, the tools that I have been or the muscles that I've been working through is, is around acts of service, the whole unconditional giving, unconditional love, because as the phrase, we all know it, the more you give, the more you receive. And, and that's really fascinating because so much of how I was raised was, was in that culture of like, okay, you know, uh, I give with the expectation that you will do something for me, the whole quid pro quo. <clears throat> Um, Asian cultures, it's, it's very prolific in that whole idea. I guess any culture, really, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it's like a trust thing. There's like a trust factor where, and then, and then the other thing I was like, well, how authentic is that? And, um, in my book, it's not because if your beingness is one where you know, you will support everything. Um, and then the other thing <clears throat> which comes to mind is, is uh, there's a really fascinating conversation with givers and takers because the givers give and the takers take. And then the fascinating thing about all of this is like, well, you know, how do you set those boundaries? How do you, how do you know when, when not to support or not to be of service? Um, when is it right for you? And that's, that's a really tough thing because for me, it's been, uh, you know, it's, it's easier for me to give more because, uh, again, as I said earlier, then I, I do not have to work on myself. So, um, there's a, there's a whole component called Mr. Nice Guy syndrome. And it's like, yeah, like I'll, I'll keep giving, I'll keep giving. And then, and then I start building this resentment. You know when that's not re that's re reciprocated and then I, I i go into more of like a, oh well then i you know i should be uh i should be conservative with what i give and i feel like the answer is yes and no the answer is like well one you know having those conversations having like figuring out like what is it that the other person really wants you know like what do you want and then how can I support you in that? And, and actually part of that too is it's really asking for consent. It's like, do you want me to support you? Because if the answer is no, then I'm just giving to a point where they don't really care. They don't find value. And I'm, I'm building resentment because I'm spending time and energy on this. So I, I feel like there's definitely, there's no victim in either side of this. Uh, the challenge with this is do I have the right tools and communication and understanding and groundedness and boundaries and ability to have that conversation, to pick up those nonverbal cues, to ask those questions, which are uncomfortable, you know, and also part of that too, is just to, as you said, be there. It's just like, just to listen. Oh, this conversation, I'm going to, they want to talk. They want to get stuff off their chest. And then I, I enjoy this now. I really, really appreciate this. It's like, if I'm doing less talking and asking questions and like letting them go through stuff and seeing that spark of like, aha, like that brings me joy. I love that. Chris, what about you? So when we're talking about, is it a responsibility that we have to, to hold space for others or is it this gift that we choose to give? 
my short answer would be yes and no. Um, this is about conscious decision. Um, for me, obviously, I've been standing on trying to make positive effects, positive outcomes, things of that nature. Um, it's there's a lot of depth to this. Um, it requires well, first, it requires who the individual is in certain groups and certain hierarchies. It's not it's non it's almost non-existent. I can't you know, I, I know you guys have seen this. Mm -hmm.